The following is a public service announcement authorized by the Supreme Executive Committee of Lent Madness. A how-to guide for the Lent Madness voter. Every day during Lent Madness, you, yes, you, the voting public of Lent Madness, will get the chance to vote on which saint should ultimately get the golden halo. This is a guide for you on how to vote in Lent Madness. So, first of all, go to the Lent Madness website at www.lentmadness.org. Once you're there, click on the web link for the daily contest. It should be the one at the top. Read the contestant information provided for you by the celebrity bloggers. Or just ignore the hours of work they did writing all that information for you and scroll down until you see the voting buttons. Select the saint you wish to vote for. Now I know that this might be difficult, but click the vote button. Like so. Congratulations, you have now voted in Lent Madness. Only voting done at the LentMadness.org website in this manner will be accepted. The Supreme Executive Committee will not accept votes by the comment section of the LentMadness.org website, email, on Facebook, or via Twitter. But let's just say for a moment that if you wanted to know how people had voted first before you voted yourself. Ah, in that case, click the View Results link, and it'll show you the vote so far. Then you can click the vote link, go back and choose the state you want to vote for, and vote. You can also do this on most mobile devices. When can I vote in Lent Madness? Voting in each Lent Madness contest goes from 8 a.m. one day to 8 a.m. the next day, Eastern Time. So say if you're in Hawaii, this goes from 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. the next day. The polls are open for a full 24 hours for everyone. If polling has closed, then you will see the result of the contest with no vote button or link allowing you to vote. Let Madness is fun for everyone, but there are some do's and don'ts. Do vote in Let Madness. That is the point. Encourage others to vote in Lent Madness. How? How about via Twitter? Facebook? Send your friends email? Heck, send your entire diocese an email. If they're cool with that, of course. Like Lent Madness on Facebook. Follow them on Twitter. Or sign up for emails from them. That way, you know when a new contest has started. Show support for your favorite saints. And of course, the don'ts of Lent Madness. Don't demonize others for having voted for a different saint than you. That makes Jesus sad. And finally, don't stuff the ballot box. See this guy? He does not like it when you vote more than once. He will hunt you down. He will hunt you down and cast you into the outer darkness of Lent Madness, where there will be wailing and gnashing and teeth and fire and brimstone and... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Scott. I'm going a little overboard. Sorry. My bad. My bad. But there are ways this type of voting fraud can be detected, and you can actually be blocked from further participation in Lent Madness. Lent Madness is supposed to be fun, and engaging in these activities stops making it fun. This has been a public service announcement on behalf of the Supreme Executive Committee of Lent Madness.